Hey, Michael Tracy here. We are in Billings, Montana, where Rob Quist is seeking to become the next congressman from Montana. And tonight he is being aided in those efforts by none other than Bernie Sanders, who will be holding a rally here in a few minutes. And we will be covering the remainder of this race. There are a lot of interesting people about, voicing interesting opinions, and we will see where it leads. So what motivated you to come to this event tonight? Uh, well, I really support Rob Quist. He understands the values of the Native Americans here in Montana and on the reservations and our values. So, Has he directed any particular messaging toward the Native American community that you've seen? Yes, he has uh, mentioned that he would help with the, the diabetes epidemic on our reservations and that he's going to help um, build, rebuild our infrastructure on the reservations. So. If you could summarize the nature of the diabetes problem, how would you put it in sort of a pithy way? Well, about, I would say about like three-fourths of the Native Americans here are, you know, diabetic. And it's it's a real problem, you know, and there's not a whole lot of programs out there. Do you think there's anything unique or particular about Quist that is drawing this level of attention and support that maybe a generic Democrat wouldn't have gotten? Absolutely. He's not afraid to stand up for what he believes in, and he's also taking his donations one at a time, like $25 at a time, kind of like the whole Bernie thing, where he refuses to accept the corporations and the PACs and all that, that corporate money and to be corrupted by it, where so many politicians are today. And also, I believe that he actually embodies Montana values compared to his opponent. Maybe if there's a better one that they threw against him on the Republican side, there might not be as much enthusiasm for Quist. But the fact that an out-of-state billionaire who wants to sell off our public lands is trying to come in and steal this seat, I think kind of motivates a lot of people more to look into the Democratic section, even though they might have voted Republican in the past. But yeah. So there's something culturally about him that maybe has an appeal that may a generic Democrat might not have? I mean, do people who are disillusioned with the Democratic Party look at Quist and say, oh, this is actually a refreshing alternative? Right, yeah, absolutely. Not to mention he's been a folk singer around these parts for God knows how long. Right. And so people kind of have that connection with him already. Whereas when they tried to ran, like, run uh, Denise Juno against Sinky earlier, people just weren't really catching fire with that because the same old, same old establishment Democrat. In going to these rallies today, have you gotten a sense of what the ground game is shaping up to look like? Do you, is there a enthusiasm or people doing get out the vote type things? What is What do you gather so far? Absolutely. I've been a volunteer over in Livingston and I've hit a couple other rural towns and I honestly see about like 10 to 1 quiz signs for Gianforte, uh, the guy he's going up against. And so it seems like there's a lot of enthusiasm for it on the ground. So what is unique about how DSA operates in Montana that maybe a DSA chapter in Los Angeles, or New York or Chicago wouldn't really be that familiar of, familiar with? How do you kind of adapt to these unique, maybe more rural circumstances. Yeah, I mean, you know, what we do, we use social media a lot. So we live in rural communities, people are spread out. You know, you can't just go down the street and knock on the door. So we started, a, you know, here in Billings, a Billings DSA chapter. And are the, the DSA members that you're acquainted with, are they generally active in the Quist campaign? Or are they doing volunteering, get out the vote, that kind of thing? Absolutely, yeah. The DSA uh, endorses Rob Quist. We're involved here on the ground. Uh, we're, we're here at the Bernie rally uh, letting folks know to get out there and vote, helping people register to vote. And uh, we'd just like to see more progressive values at the national level, at the state level, and the local level. When you say the DSA endorses Rob Quist, does that mean that your particular chapter endorses him or Montana DSA members collectively endorse him? What does that mean precisely? Yeah. For me, I can speak on behalf of the Billings DSA, and the Billings DSA does support Rob Quist. Uh, that's why we're here out in numbers uh, showing our support. I've had the great honor today of traveling with and talking to and getting to know one of my great heroes, and that's Bernie Sanders. You know, when Rob began his campaign, a lot of people were saying, well, you know, he's an interesting guy, he can play the guitar. He can sing, he's a poet, wow, that's really cool. But he's not serious, he can't really win this election. Well, guess what? Just came back from Washington on Thursday. You have gotten the Republican leadership very, very nervous because they know that Rob's campaign has been a great campaign and that he is on the verge of pulling off a major, major upset. Now, I don't want to get you all very nervous, but the eyes of America 
and actually the eyes of many people throughout the world are looking right here at the great state of Montana and what's going to happen on Thursday. So I'd just like to share a poem with you. Uh, John Tester has been campaigning for me, and he said, Rob, when you speak to Billings tonight, um, would you uh, recite that poem that you wrote? And so I'd like to recite it for you now. Montana. She's been called a lady when we sing her praise. And if you fail to see the logic, well then, let me count the ways. Her cirrus hair is red and gold at evening sunset's light. And I've always thought her mountains looked especially good in white. Her gown is luscious green when she attends the annual springtime ball. And she fancies orange and gold at harvest moon in the fall. Her wild and natural beauty, it will take away your breath. Oh, but just take her for granted. It could easily mean your death. <laughs> She's slow to grant her favors to come lately, newer faces. To longtime suitors, she reveals her hidden secret places. She lives in big time splendor. She's the heart of the golden west and all manner of wondrous creatures live and suckle at her breast. And yes, there will be those who come with schemes of ways to use her, to sell her body like a harlot, to cheapen and abuse her. If you've sworn your love for her, revere, respect her. If you're a man of honor, you must cherish and protect her. And should we fail in this task, we'll lose this living treasure. Should we prevail, this lady that we love will live forever.